Spain versus France is about to be a hell of a matchup. France, they're the fraudulent team here. They haven't scored a goal in over four games. Each game they've won has been from PKs. How can you claim to be one of the best in the tournament and you have not scored goals? You're beating teams by barely anything at all. Everything is coming down to the wire. You got a lot of talent there, but you're just not living up to the expectations. We know what Mbappe can do. We know what all the other guys can do on that team, but are they doing that? Are they living up to the hype? No. And you keep playing game after game like this, where it's coming down to the wire, going into the extra time and going into the PKs. Like it gets mentally exhausting. So a team like Spain that has been on a tear lately and they've been kicking butt left and right, been scoring goals left and right. I think they're about to go out here and they're about to give France a belt to ass whooping. I think it's going to happen, man. I mean, looking at Spain. And what they've done, they've scored two or more goals ever since the first round of the Euros. And they have one of the longest winning streak in the Euros right now. So you can't help but to notice what they've been doing. They've been playing with tremendous pace all along. The defense have been fairly nice from what I've seen in the game, in the previous games that they've played. So I, I got to give this matchup between Spain and France to Spain to win it. I don't, I don't think if you go player by player, they're the more talented team full of individuals, but... Above all, they've been playing better soccer. I, I have to give them the roof. I have to give them the, the leeway, especially since France hasn't been living up to the hype. They they look pretty fraudulent. They haven't been able to score goals. Defense hasn't be, been where we expected defense to be from France. So I'm going Spain to win that game there. And then we got another cool matchup happening in the Euros between England and the Netherlands. Man, I'm expecting a close game here, a solid game between these two teams. But above all, I think England is going to win. England is definitely probably going to win this game because England is arguably the most talented team in the Euros. I know I talked a lot about Spain and France and how great they are and what they've been doing, mainly Spain. But individually i think england has the upper hand against anybody in the euros right now harry kane Saka, bellingham did y'all see what happened in a, in a previous game against switzerland with all the pks five for five tremendous my man's literally went out there and kicked the he kicked the pk and didn't even look at the ball bro like just visualize that he kicked a pk and didn't even look at the ball. And anybody watching on YouTube can see it right now. But what's, it's just insane because I've never seen anything happen like that before. But above all, you know, you can't really sleep on the Netherlands. You can't ever sleep on any team coming into the Euros because, I mean, you got to take it game by game. England taking it game by game. And based on what they've shown me in the previous matchups, I think when the going gets tough, when push comes to shove, they can buckle down and really close out a game. We've seen Saka hit a huge goal um, against Switzerland that really equalized it and helped it. Or I think it was the, the, the one that put them above. But, uh, you, you know, we've seen these big names actually show up and play in serious moments of the game. And that's what it's all about. So I'm going to give England the advantage here against the Netherlands. So moving on, we'll see England and we'll see Spain 